This is a short practice that's designed to help you condition as well as improve your fl the flexibility around your hip. We will start with standing position to the top of your mat, bringing your feet to open, hip width apart, toes facing towards the front, press through the outer of your feet, lift through the inner arches. Allow the tailbone to lengthen down, drawing the navel in, rolling the shoulders back and down. Allow the palms to rotate forward, crown of your head, lengthen up to the sky, shoulders soft away from the sides of the ears and your neck. Bring your palms in front of your heart. Just take a moment to center yourself through any intention that you have for your practice today. And start to bring the awareness to the breath. And feel the air coming in and out through the edge of your nostrils here. And bring the focus onto that throughout your practice. Release your arms. You're going to start with chair pose, bending the knees, hinging the hip back, sweat your arms up to the sky. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, extend the arms down to the floor, extend the legs. Repeat that inhale, bend the knees, sweat your arms up. Exhale, cross your feet, extend the legs and the arms next to the side. Again, inhale, chair pose, you reach your arms. Exhale, expand your legs and the arms set to your side. At two more, inhale, chair pose, work your arms up. Exhale, press your feet, arms to the side, standing up. One more, inhale, chair pose, work your arms up. Exhale, stand up, arms to your side, and then reach your arms up to the inhale. Exhale, take a fold, hinging the hip, drop the belly over your thighs, drop your head down. Allow the knees to soften. Allow the hip to stack on top of your heel here. Be nice and gentle to your hamstring as well as your lower back. Take an inhale, press to your shin bones, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Two more like this inhale, press to your shin bones, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. One more inhale, press to your shin bones, lift halfway. Exhale to fold. Let the arms fall to the sides of your legs. Bend your feet here, drop the head. Inhale, lift half and look forward. And as you exhale, press your palms, step your feet back into your downward facing dog. And if you're on the tight side, keep the knees softly bent, allow the sit bones to rise up high. Press the palms firmly and allow the arms to get long here so you can get long through the sides of your body as well. Slowly lower your knees down to the floor. You're going to come into your all fours, hands and knees. Extend the right leg all the way to the back and reach your left arm forward. Allow yourself to find balance here. And take about a couple more breaths. Slowly lower your left hand, right knee down. Switch side, extend the left leg to the back and reach your right arm forward. Allow yourself to find balance. Press to your left palms. Press to your right knee as well as to run the navel in. Really reach to your right arm long. One more breath. So release your right arm and left knee down. Go ahead and come into your cat and cow. Take an inhale, tailbone lift. Spread through the collarbone, look up. Exhale, tailbone down, rounding the back. Drop your head. And again, cow, inhale, tailbone lift. Push your heart forward, lift the chin. Exhale, tailbone down, rounding the back. Inhale, tailbone lift. Allow the shoulders to open here, especially on the front. Exhale, tailbone down. Allow the back side of your shoulders to open. Two more like this. Inhale. Exhale it out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale it out. Good. Inhale. Come back into neutral position. Tuck the toe. Pushing your hip back, lifting the knees. Go ahead and rest the sit bones up high. Come back into your down dog. Again, if you're on the tight side, keep the knees softly bent. Gently walk your feet to the front side of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Come all the way up into standing. Arms up to the side, palms to the back. Exhale, palms in front of your heart. Stay in front of your mat. I'm just going to turn here to the side. And allow your feet to open, hip width apart. Inhale, reach your arms up. Grab, hold your left wrist with your right hand as you exhale, lean it over to your right side. Allow the gaze to turn down towards the floor on your left. 
or on your right. And allow the right side or the left side of your body to get long here. Come back to the center. Inhale. Switch side. As you exhale, lean it over to your left side. Allow that left hand to pull your right arm all the way to the left side so that you can feel that elongating through the right ribs. Now bring it back to the center. Inhale. Then come back to the front here. Then as you exhale, you interlace your arms behind you. If you can't interlace, go ahead and hook your thumbs. Spread the thumbs apart, draw your shoulder blades in, lift your chest, inhale. Exhale, hinge the hip back and you're coming to your chair. Allow the belly to rest to the top of your thighs. Try to lengthen the chest forward here, draw your shoulders back. Now release your arms, you're gonna come back into your chair, inhale. Exhale, stand up, arms to your side. Inhale, arms reaching up. Exhale to fold all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, to step the right leg to the back. Lower your right knee down. And from here, walk your hands to the top of your left thigh. Draw the tailbone down. Push through your palms, feel the belly away from your left thigh. Now, once you're here, take an inhale, reach your arms up, and let the arms hug next to your ears here. And then as you exhale, perhaps push your hips slightly forward. Keep resistant with your left foot. Lengthen to the sides of your body as you reach your arms. Inhale. And as you exhale, press your palms down to the floor. Step it back into your downward facing dog. Lower your knees down. Inhale, you take out position, tailbone lift. Look up. Exhale, tailbone down, rounding the back. Come back into your cow. Inhale, tailbone lift. Exhale, tuck the toes, sit bones, lift up, downward facing dog. Mending the knees, walk or step your feet to the front side of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Set all the way up, inhale, arms up to the sky, palms to touch. Exhale to bow all the way back down. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale this time, step the left foot to the back, lower your left knee down. Walk your hands to the top of your right thigh. Draw your tailbone down, draw the navel in. And left the sides of your body will get long here. Push through your right foot. Inhale, arms up, hugging into your ears. Reach your arms high here. Push your hip forward as you exhale. Give resistance with your right foot. Take an inhale, rest it hard up to the sky. Exhale, push your palms. Step it back, downward facing dog. Lower your knees down to the floor. Arch your back, inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Come back into your cow. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck the toes. Sit bones. Lift downward facing dog. Now bend the knees. Step. Walk to the front. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Set all the way. Inhale. Arms up to the sky. Palms to touch. Exhale. Bring your palms in front of your heart. Inhale, yeah. come into your chair pose, reach your arms up, allow the sit bones to lie back, allow the weight of your body come to your heels, bring your palms in front of your heart. Yeah, then lean to your right foot, start to lift your left heel up, pick up your left foot, hinge your hip back and just take a moment to find your balance here. And then ever so gently grab hold your left knee, hug your left knee into your chest, and slowly straighten the right leg, carry that right knee along, or left knee along with you. And as you inhale, you reach your arms up. Keep that left knee tucked into your chest. As you exhale, lean forward. Extend the left leg to the back and swing your arms to the back. And then just take a moment in here. Turn your left toe down. Plug your right hip back into the socket. We're coming into, or we're in your warrior two, three here. Ever so gently bend that right knee. Lower your left foot down. Come into your lunge. Inhale, arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your palms in front of your heart. And slowly bring your left elbow to the top of your right thigh or to the outside of your right thigh. Press the palms firmly. Allow the chest to lift away from your uh, floor here. Roll your right shoulder back. Keep the left leg lift up. Push your left heel back. Take a breath more. And as you exhale, lower your hands down to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. 
lower the knees down, arch your back in here. Exhale, rounding the back cat position. Inhale, come back into your cow. Down dog as you exhale. Then the knees look forward, walk or step to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Come up into your chair, bend the knee, inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, bring your palms in front of your heart, staying in your chair. We're going to shift into your left side. Lift your right heel up. Lift your right knee. Just take a moment to find your balance here. Now, once you're here, grab hold your right knee with both hands. On your next inhale, you're going to push through your left foot. Draw the knees into your chest as you extend. Take a moment. Find the balance. Arms reaching up. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, sweat your arms in the back. You're going to keep that right leg all the way to the back as you lean your body forward. Warrior three. Roll that left outer hip back. Kick your right heel all the way to the back. Good. Take a breath more in here. Bend the left knee gently. Land the right foot down. Take an inhale. Reach your arms up to the sky. Take it into your lunge. Exhale. Press your palms in front of your heart and twist it to your left side. Good. Allow your chest to lean back. Pull the chest through such that the chest is going to come into the palm. Good. And as you exhale, you release your arms down to the floor. Step it back, downward facing dog. Lower the knees down. Arch your back, inhale. Exhale, rounding the back. Inhale, come back into your arch. Tuck the toe, downward facing dog as you exhale. And then the knees, knees to the front. Step or walk to the front. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend the knees, sweep your arms up. Exhale, stand up, arms to your side. Come back into your chair, inhale. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, you step the left foot to the back. Then once you're here, press your left hand down, right hand up to the sky, inhale. Get long to the legs, especially your left leg. Reach the left heel back and try to lift the left thigh up here. Press through the right foot. Allow the right thigh to glide back. And see so if you can reach your right arm as high as you can. Take one more breath in here. And then gently you're going to spin the left heel down. And as you pivot that left heel, you're going to come up into the warrior two. Okay, just take a moment and find that steadiness, that sense of stability. And take an inhale, you take it into your reverse warrior. Exhale it out into your side angle. Inhale, come back into your warrior two. Exhale, you gotta stay. Come back into your reverse inhale. Exhale it out into your side. Come back up into your warrior two, inhale. Exhale to stay. Come back into your reverse, inhale. Exhale into your side. Warrior two, inhale. This time exhale, extend the front knee, hinging your hip to the back, lengthen the right side of your body forward and lower your right hand down, triangle pose, left hand up. Feel free to bring your hand to the floor or to the shin bones. Allow the chest to lean back. Send the right sit bones all the way to the back side of your mat. Let's turn them or chest, lengthen forward. Good, come back up, warrior two, inhale. And as you exhale, windmill your hands down to the floor. Spin the left heel back up here, walk your right foot and turn it 45 degree. Press your left hand back down to the floor, right hand's gonna push through the inner of your right thigh. So as you push, you're gonna lean your chest back. Then just take a moment in there. Allow that left thigh bone to lift up. Reach through the left heel. And as you exhale, slowly lower the left knee down. Feel free to just stay right here. Allow the hip to drop. If it's available for you, maybe start to lift that back leg up. You want to make sure you're not ending up onto the top of your kneecap here. I want you to make sure it's ending onto or it leans onto the bottom of your thigh. If it's available for you, grab hold your feet, 
for your foot and draw the heel to your butt. And just take a moment in there. Allow the quad to open. And gently release. And go ahead and step it back into your downward facing dog. Bring your knees down, come into your cow position, arch your back and hip. Exhale, round the back. And inhale, arch your back. Exhale, downward facing dog. And bend the knees, walk your feet to the top of your mat or step it. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Chair pose, inhale, rise up. And as you exhale, you're going to fold back down. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, this time step the right leg to the back. Plant the right palms down to the floor. Allow it to light with your uh, wrist here. Lift the left hip up, inhale. Spin the chest towards the left side. Remember to lift the back leg up. And as you exhale, press your hands, pivot your right heel down. You're going to come up into a warrior two. Inhale, open up. Allow yourself to find stability here. Take an inhale, lift your left arm up and back, reverse warrior. As you exhale, come into your side angle. Come back up, warrior two, inhale. Exhale to stay. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to stay. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale to stay one more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extend the left knee and then pull the hip back. Lengthen the left side of your body forward. Reach your right arm up. Take it into your triangle. Lean the chest back. Draw that left thigh bone back into the socket and press firmly to your right foot. Extend the chest forward here. Have that sense of opening through the front side of your body. Take one more breath. Come up into your warrior two. Inhale, bend the left knee. Exhale, windmill the hands down to the floor. Turn the left toe about 45 degrees. Lift your right heel up. Press your right hand back down. Bring your left hand to the inside of your left thigh. And try to lean your back or lean yourself back here. Let's take one more breath. And then exhale, lower your knee down to the floor. Now feel free to just kind of stay right here. You want to make sure you end it up onto the very bottom of your thigh, not on your kneecap here. And if it's hard for you to lift that back left, back leg up, stay with the right leg, stay down here. And if you want, go ahead and pick it up and just stay right there. It's available for you. Grab hold your right foot with your left hand. Take one more breath in there. And right hand, release your right foot, press your hands, step it back, downward facing dog. Now lower your knees down, arch your back, inhale. Exhale, rounding the back. Then arch your back, inhale. Exhale, push your head back. Come into your Virasana. You're gonna shift your hip to one side and you take a seated position. I'm going to turn, bring your feet together. We're going to come into your Baddha Konasana, butterfly legs here. Bring your arms behind, lift your chest up. Instead of pressing the thighs down, I want you to press through the outer of your feet against each other here. Rise the chest higher. Let's take about a couple more breaths in here. And try not to lean to your fingertips and allow that fingertips to give you support to the spine. Feel free to stay right here. You're on the tight side if you like. 
go ahead and just walk your hands to the front side of your mat. I'm going to walk it as far as your body allow you to go without forcing. And take your time as allowing the torso to fall whenever it's ready. Now that helps, just allow your head to drop. This will bring a sense of calmness along with the pose. Take an inhale, lift your body up, walk your hands back, allow the spine to come back onto the hip here. Extend the right leg, keep the left heel in. Turn your body over to your left side. Then go ahead and reach your left arm up, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, you start to lean towards your right leg. Feel free to keep the hands reaching, maybe bend the elbow. If you can grab hold to your foot, go ahead and grab hold, otherwise, and see if you can just kind of lean your head onto your left arm. You can softly let that right arm down towards the floor. And try to bring the awareness of your breath through the left side of your ribs. And as you inhale, go ahead and reach that left arm back up, lift your body back up. Now switching side, extend the left leg, bend the right knee in. Turn your body over to your right side, bring your left hand to the top of your right thigh, reach your right arm up, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, lean it over to your left. Bend the elbow if you'd like, grab hold to your foot, and then just loosely land that left hand down to the floor. You keep your chest lean back here. Breathing into your right side of the ribs. And then as you inhale, reach your right arm up, lift your body up. And then bend the knees in your way and lay it onto your back. I'm going to take bridge pose here. Press your feet, allow the knees to stack on top of your heels. Grab hold the side edge of your mat here. And as you inhale, press your feet, ground it down to the floor, lift your hips up. Draw the tail into towards your knees, drag your shoulder blades in and see if you can feel that uh, the arms are actually stretching the mat apart. Allow the chest to rise up, soften the back of your neck, lift your chin away from your chest. And finding the energy pressing through the outer of your feet, try to keep the inner of your feet lifted. Hug the inner thighs in. Take an inhale in here. Exhale, gently lower your body all the way down. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock yourself side to side. Open the arms wide to the side and drop your knees over to your right. Turn your gaze to the left or keep the gaze up to the side. Soften the shoulder. Allow the legs to feel heavy as well as the back of your shoulder. Bring your knees back up. Inhale. So I'll drop the knees over to your left, maybe turn your gaze to the right or keep the gaze up to the sky. Legs heavy, arms heavy, shoulder relax. Bring your knees back to the center, inhale, go ahead and extend the legs, come into your savasana. And take your time in your savasana, and otherwise, if you are running out of time, come into your seated position. Thank you for practicing. Namaste. Hey, Saki. <laughs> Hi, Grandma.